Great to see you. My name is Ben Hewlett. Then we'll look at simple blues like the Hoochie Coochie Man and those sort of riffs that fit very nicely for beginners. So that's the first stage. Get up and running, ready, steady, go. Now, the next thing, and this is a game changer, but it happens in very easy, simple baby steps. I'm going to teach you how to play single notes. There are five ways to do this, and I'm going to show you all of them. And through that progression, we will lead on to the best one of all, which is called tongue blocking, and I'll explain all of that. Now, next thing is, you might want to play music with other people. So how do you do that? How do you approach that kind of thing? What are the opportunities? Where do you go to find people that will play with you when you're at this sort of beginner level? What are the skills that you need? What music theory do you need? What sort of repertoire do you need? What do you need to know about the what we call modes and positions on the harmonica and different keys? So you can see that we're getting in a bit deeper. So that's stage three, playing with other people. Uh, number four is we need to turbocharge those skills. So that means bending notes. There are four types of note bending, draw bending, blow bending, overblow and overdraw. So I'll teach you all of those and show you how to use them. And this will increase your repertoire. We'll also do more advanced tongue blocking. And this again increases the repertoire and lets you, you know, if you want to play like Little Walter, you have to tongue block very clear or Sonny Boy Williamson, or William Clark, you know, any of those guys, or the modern guys. Most of the blues guys tongue block most of the time. There are a few exceptions, like uh, Paul Butterfield didn't, and he sounds great, so, you know, you don't have to, but most people would say you're missing a trick if you don't. So that's a, that's a major step forward. Tricky, tricky stuff, that is. That's number four. Number five, you're in the band. So now we're going to look at the ways that you can play in a band, the musicality, the performance skills, and we'll top up on the tongue blocking and the overblows. You know, those are the more extreme skills that you will need. Question mark. That's arguable whether you need overblows. I like to teach them because I think they're useful. And then you can use them as you will. A lot of people will say, ah, well, little Walter didn't use it, so I don't need it. But I think if he'd known about it, I think he would have been all over it. So why not? Let's learn it. And then you're going to need a little bit about engineering of the instrument, how it works, how you can optimise it yourself, what to do if you can't optimise it yourself, where to send it, who's going to help you, all of those things. So I think with those, you know, I've simplified it hugely, haven't I, into five pillars. And within each of those, you know, each of those is nearly, well, four weeks or something, three to four weeks worth of work. And that's that's how we'll get you on a bandstand 